welcome back to another video. This is a mini review of the Works uh, Hydro Shop. This is the little 20 volt battery powered uh, jet washer that's hose fed. Now I've had some complications with mine and it's taken me probably four, four uses of it to figure out what that problem is. Now I use those jerry cans. There's a 10 and a 20 litre there. I've got two 20s and a 10, right? And I've always had an issue of getting water through. You spend 10 minutes trying to get the water to go through. Uh, one of my guys the other day with me, and we were cleaning a, a set of gates, and we used the hydro shop, and it occurred to me, because I got him to hold the hose in the, in the can, what the problem was. The problem is position of the hose. So I've just, you know, come up with the most ingenious idea. When you've got your hydro shot out, Poke the hose down the funnel of a watering can. Because A, it will keep it straight. And then, can you see that through the hole there? B, it will keep it pointed towards where the water is. So the biggest problem is that the, cur the hose, because it's quite stiff, naturally curves. It's got a curve in it anyway, because it's coiled up. But it doesn't ever straighten out. And if you put it into a bottle and you push it in a bit too far, what it does is it goes in the spout, into a black can you can't see, and then it curls back. And sometimes it actually shortens itself and curls quite quickly. And then obviously the lower the water goes, the quicker it comes out of it. And that's always the problem with getting water into these things. I thought at first, I mean, it did have a filter issue at first. It came out of the factory with a blocked filter, which is great. Uh, but since that, that's what the problem's been. So now, when you're using one, keep an eye on the water. Make sure the water is, or the, the end of the hose that's in the water has got water going into it. Because otherwise it will suck water and air, or just air. And then all you'll do is run your battery down and burn your motor out, because there would be nothing to cool it. Anyway, that's my top tip. So, let's crack on, shall we? Right, so without further ado, let's do some blasting. So what we're doing is, at the minute, I'm cleaning off all the crap and dirt behind where my front sprocket is uh, on the bike. This does make quite a bit of mess if I'm honest, uh, but it's got to be done anyway. I'll just clean the garden up afterwards. So depress your little safety, which is there, your little safety button, and then pull the trigger in. And then it takes a little while to pull the, pull the water through. That's set to the 25 degree flat spread pattern. It comes out quite quick as you can see, uh, but it doesn't put too much force in. If you step it down to the 15 degree and narrow it, the water comes out with a bit more force. See how we quickly we ran out of water there? So what we've got to do now is check if there's water where the pipe is. So hold please caller. got water it could be where I changed the end it sucked water back uh, air back up this way so just hold down the trigger and eventually it will pull it through now it does have one step up from that which is zero degrees which is the super fine jet um, I tend not to use that around anything electrical, so keep away from your ignition, keep away from any electrical wiring connectors, because it's not super powerful like a jet washer at the car, at, you know, like at the supermarket, that kind of thing, like Morrison's one, but it is pretty tough. I only lubed my chain cleaned and lubed my chain two days ago so I'm not going to bother doing that again right now we've done that I'm going to get our brushes out and start cleaning the bike a bit so I'm going to give the engine and anything rubbery a clean if we can Let's go 15 degree spray just to clean some of this off now.
obviously not going to get all of the dough out of this and that isn't going to you know if you've got grease and crap like that on there that's not going to degrease it for you it's not going to i mean it'll clean these up look you can probably see the i think that's called lichen put this on to zero degree spray see it will clean that off that's made a clean patch there the problem is with this you're going to be there a bloody long time and ain't nobody got time for that right. this is the works hydro shop that's with the full length pole on it you can run it oh, if you can get it undone on the short one which when these first come out i saw a review on this and the first one i saw and excuse the mess but you know it's a tool for, for getting mud off uh, the first one of these i saw was a, a us review and it does have the high low power on it and they had an issue i think they had a sensor in their batches that if you had the short one on not the long one uh there was a magnet in here or a sensor in here yeah there's a reed switch in here you couldn't run it on high power on the short nozzle but this one doesn't have that problem so this is a short nozzle that's low power that's high power. The States now have the 40 volt one. You can't get the 40 volt one here yet. I've tried, but they didn't have it, so I've got the 20 volt anyway. This was 100 pound. That's all it was, 100 pound on Amazon. And actually Amazon were doing, I think they were doing an offer at the time as well, where it was interest free for five months. You actually paid 20 pound a month, which is bugger all. I'll pay, that, pay more than that going to Morrison's to use their jet wash. Uh, it's got a little battery indicator on it. How much have we used? That was fully charged about I don't know, a week ago. So that's still got battery in it. Nice clip on clip off system. It does get a bit stiff, especially if it's cold, uh, but plastic does that anyway. This is quite a nice little mechanism. This pops off as well. So if you get an issue, you can clean it. You can put multiple different heads on it. I bought mine as a kit and it actually came with one of those foamer bottle things, the soap foamer bottles. It's not the best if I'm honest. In fact, let me get it out. One aerator soap bottle thing. I don't actually know what it's called, so we're just going to go with aerator soap bottle thing. You can use that on the long lance, or you can use it on the short one as well. I'll take it off completely, sorry. But it does work on the extension. I don't know why you'd necessarily need that, but let's give it a go. smells good just a simple twist off simple put it in vertically so you got these little lugs here put the lugs in vertical twist a quarter turn <laughs> important make sure you do that up <laughs> I don't know if that's in or not <laughs> yeah it's in now it is pretty cut it out it is pretty sparse with the water it uses it is pretty conservative in that respect let's pop you off of there oh not on my shoe yeah it's pretty it's pretty good pretty economical battery power we've now dropped down one battery one bar that's fair enough we've used it quite a bit i suppose um yeah it's pretty economical that's a five litre watering can i didn't even half fill that and it hasn't used those five litres of water yet uh right i'm going to carry on cleaning the bike anyway so would I recommend the Hydra Shop by Works? I would. Would I recommend their drills and their other tools? Probably not, because I use DeWalt, that kind of stuff. But comparatively speaking, when I looked at the other uh, battery powered jet washing devices out there, especially DeWalt one, which would have worked with all the batteries I've got, the cost was ridiculous. They're like three, four hundred pounds. The Karsha one's an insane amount of money. 
Um, so I figured I'd give this a go before I committed to anything else. And I don't have the money for the other one anyway. And I think it works brilliantly. The amount of mud that it's got off of this bike for the time that I've used it has saved that going in the back of my van and me having to clean that out. Uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.